Hi, everyone, and welcome to your five-minute advance exercise vlog. So these are for many of my clients and people that have, been, have had a training experience of more than a year. So they're going to be a little bit more intense, but again, we're going to go back to those four pillars, and this time we're going to do all four with this. We're going to do mobility exercise, stability, strength, and then a power exercise. So you're going to come to the wall, place the hands on the wall, take your right leg back, and you're going to start with your heel lifted at the back. From here, you're going to inhale, and then exhale, push the foot down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Good, and as you do that, you're just feeling all the tissues of the foot move, but also the back of the calf stretch down into the floor. Now, on the next one, I'm just gonna get you to hold it. So you're gonna push down through the back of your heel, you're gonna feel that line push down, and you're also gonna look at your foot to ensure that it's pretty straight. We're gonna hold there for a good 15 seconds. And as you're holding, you're breathing down into the lower parts of your body. Nice big deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Five more seconds, gently focusing on pushing into the floor a little bit more, maybe lunging towards the, the wall with your other leg to get a bit of a deeper stretch. And then we're gonna switch feet. We'll take the right leg forward, take the left leg back. Make sure your feet are aligned. They're nice and straight. You're not too far from the wall. Then inhale, lift your back heel. Exhale, dropping it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. One more time and then drop the back heel, and as you do that, lunge a little forward into your front leg, and that you're not too far from the wall, so you're not straining your upper body. And then we'll come into the breathing as you focus on the back of your heel on the left. And we're gonna take a good now 15 seconds. Might even wanna think about stretching out your toes as you do this too. Getting all that fascial connection. So if, for those of you that don't know what fascia is, it's all the tissue that encases our muscles from our head to our toe and connects our body together, even our organs. So pretty important stuff. Good, and then you're gonna bring the feet together. So this is waiter's bow. This is a great stretch for the back of your legs, but it also teaches you how to hinge over your hips. So for those of you who work with me, I do this one a lot with people. And it also gives you awareness as to where your hips are compared to your back. So we wanna make sure that your core is nice and like a cylinder. And then you're gonna separate your toes and spread your, your feet out with straight toes out onto the floor. And your feet should be about a foot or so away from the wall and your bum on the wall. Don't worry about your head reaching the wall. We're gonna bring the arms into like you're holding a platter. And this is why we call it waiter's bound. Why I like that is because it keeps your collarbones nice and wide. So you're not gonna hinge forward with your upper body. So from here, you're going to think about hinging with your hands up from your hips. As you come forward, you lengthen the back of the body and then exhale, you come up. The reason I use the wall is so you can feel those seat bones, your butt bones go up the wall and then back. And I want you to go really slow so you know if you're starting to bend at your back. We want a nice neutral spine. You're learning how to bend at your hips. And if you don't feel that, just place your hands on your hips. And we're gonna go three more. Inhale as you come forward. Long spine, exhaling slowly as you come up. Inhale, spread the toes out, feel the back of your legs stretch. Exhale, come up. So if you're tight in the hamstrings, you're probably not gonna go as far as me. So be very mindful. Your body will tell you how far you can go because you'll lose uh, form in your upper body. This is a lateral split squat, so it could be quite challenging. So go easy with this and make sure that you're definitely warmed up. You never wanna do this without that. But we're gonna take the legs as wide as you can. 
you want to make sure that you're going to bend at your ankle, your knee, and your hip. So you have to come forward with your upper body quite a bit. I like bringing my hands into this position because it maintains my core structure. So from here, you're going to slowly inhale. You're going to keep your right leg soft as you bend into your left leg. Now your foot shouldn't roll out. Your knee should stay tracked over your first and second toe. Hold there for a breath just so you can feel that alignment. And then exhale, push through the foot to come up and you should feel that glute working. So we're gonna stay on that same side. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Soft through the right knee, down through that left foot. So most of the weight is on that left foot. Inhale, get long through the back of the body. And you wanna make sure that your head stays in line with your body. So you're not looking up as you're coming down, compressing the neck. You wanna think about coming at horizontal level and then inhaling, coming down to look at the floor. Exhale, so again, we learn how to isolate parts of our body while we can move at other parts. We're gonna go three more, inhale, or to wherever your body allows. So you wanna watch your range of motion that you might wanna go deeper, more shallow, whatever feels good. One more time. Good. Now I'm gonna show you it from the side. So nice and wide, we're gonna go on to the right side now. And you can see what I do with my core. So you're gonna slowly inhale, come into your right heel, feel the back of your ribs pull up, get back through those hips, and then exhale, Come all the way up, always breathing. Inhale, feel like you're bending at the hip. Knee stays over the first and second toe. Exhale. And you want that full foot on the floor with your left knee slightly bent. Inhale. Exhale. Nice and strong, most of the weight falling into that right side so you can really feel that right hip, especially that bum, pushing your foot into the floor to lift up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, two more. And I must confess my counting is generally off. <laughs> so just again, always do your exercise with good form. If you start to move into poor form, then that means the exercise is done. So this is a power exercise. So I strongly suggest that if you have any knee issues or any problems with your hips or any pain at all, don't do it. So how, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with a gentle split squat and then we're gonna move it into a power exercise, which is kind of like running. So if you're a runner, this is a great exercise to do. You're gonna bring your hands forward and we're gonna slowly inhale, come down into your split squat, exhale, push through the floor. Inhale as you come down, back in the hip, and nice core strength, keep going. Inhale as you come down, exhale as you come up. Now we're gonna add a power to it, so you're gonna inhale, we're gonna add the arms. Exhale, pull through. Inhale, down. Exhale, pull through. Inhale. Exhale. Everything's stable, everything's strong, and you're really feeling that power through the glute as you push through. 
Inhale. Exhale, bending at the hip. Always best to do in bare feet if you can, so you really get that foot mobility and stability. One more time. Now let's switch on to the right leg. Right leg forward, and you can see, it gets the heart rate up. We're gonna inhale, start with a basic squat, so you can get that movement and that core control. Good, now let's move into the power squat. Inhale, pull the knee through. A little bit more concentration, a little bit more effort. Getting tall as you come up. Opposite hand to opposite leg. Let's go three more. Last one. Whew. Gets the heart rate going and every joint of the body moving. So good luck with that one.